I heard about the team and the dynamic a lot. I heard how open-ended it was and how much room for creativity and innovation there was. I'm Greeley Hibbard. I am an executive officer for the Human Exploration Rover Team here at Campbell University. Being on the rover team has taught me teamwork, has taught me communication, as well as fabrication and working with my hands. The NASA Human Exploration Rover Challenge is a competition where high schools and colleges come together as a team and they engineer, design, and build a two-person human-powered rover that they take onto a course at Huntsville, Alabama at the NASA Research Facility. And they go through obstacle courses and do tasks along the way, scientific tasks, to either collect samples, liquid samples, and things of that nature. The NASA competition is special because it's international, so schools from all around the world are coming down in one location to compete their river, and so it's very cool to see all the innovative and creative ideas that teams have come up with. The competition also helps build a lot of skills that we will most definitely use in our future careers. Leadership being one, communication skills, you're talking with a bunch of different people that have different backgrounds and different perspectives. That leads to different ideas, which isn't always easy, but it's a lot of fun whenever you mesh well with your team. And I got to work with a whole bunch of my friends and work with some great upperclassmen who have since graduated, and they have taught me so much and have been great mentors. And I hope to do that for some of the underclassmen as well coming up. During the competition, the rover has to overcome many obstacles and challenges designed to represent the surface of Mars. These can include rocks, crevices, craters, or things such as rough terrain and steep inclines. Everyone wants to see you succeed. Everyone wants the rover to succeed. And we're all working toward the same goal. So some of these major obstacles is team working in general with us all being full-time students and some people having families, commuters, and things of that nature, we need to figure out how to work together. Some of my favorite moments have been the late nights where we've been working hard to meet deadlines and we've really bonded together as a group. I would highly encourage other students to join the rover team. I have gained experiences and skills that will be directly relevant and applicable in my career once I graduate. The main reason I chose to join the Human Exploration Rover team here at Campbell is I saw all the equipment they have in this lab here and I really wanted to use it. The ability to apply what you're learning in class to an actual obstacle, to an actual just competition to show this is what we can do at Campbell. Campbell School of Engineering gives us a lot of resources that we can use to help our rover be the best that it can be. This includes a fabrication lab that helps with tool trainings that are going to be utilized on the rover, a maker space where we can use the 3D printers to print a part that we may need last minute, um, as well as a carbon fiber printer that will help reinforce some of the parts of our rover Last year, we began designing this rover behind me from scratch. We featured a different design that incorporated the drivers side by side instead of in front and behind each other. This rover is also much more lightweight, durable, and reliable than the previous year's rover. I've done a lot of work on this rover and parts I'm very proud of that have definitely pushed my skill and caused me to learn so much more than I thought I could in such a short period of time. I've learned how to directly work with other people to solve problems, um, coordinate people working together, and then organize everyone's skills as effectively as possible toward a common goal. Most of the things we do on the rover team is applying what we've learned in class. Specifically, these include the concepts of math, physics, and material science. We also directly apply the engineering design process and problem solving processes in the application of the design of the rover. To new students looking to join the Human Exploration Rover team, I would say to embrace your weaknesses and try to make them strengths. It's a great opportunity to learn and grow as an engineer and be able to learn these skills that you really wouldn't be able to learn anywhere else. There's a lot of minute things that you wouldn't even think of whenever you're thinking of an engineering degree. I got to work with some amazing upperclassmen who have since graduated. Um, we would be in here late nights working on the rover and they're just great people to be around and they taught me so many things and I wouldn't be where I am without them today.